Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. This is just a quick, interesting little video, I think. Uh, I wanted to go over, let's look at Vintage Masters of the Universe versus Origins and see what has not been spoiled yet. What could we actually uh, be looking at down the road uh, of figures or vehicles or play sets and stuff like that. So let's take a look. So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great toy videos, 80s, 90s, nostalgic videos, and things of that nature. All right, so let's look. Um, so looking at the vintage, if we go in here, okay, Thunder Punch He-Man's up there, but he just recently got spoiled. We got Flying Fist He-Man. Okay, too bad right there. I don't believe we've seen an example of too bad being spoiled yet. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. Anybody have anything else to say about that? And then right next to him, we've got Rio Blast, which has not been spoiled uh, for Origins yet, as far as I know. And then coincidentally, right next to him, we've got Multibot. Now, I think we've seen we've seen Modulock in some of the pictures, but never a, a spoil. And um, there's Multibot. So also here's Modulock. I don't believe they showed us that yet. Let me know if I'm wrong. Once again, those. Uh, too bad in Modulock are the ones I'm kind of like, my brain is foggy on whether they actually spoiled those to us to be released in Origins yet or not. All right, looking around more, uh, nothing in this row, nothing in this row. Right here, we got Blade, one of the movie figures. So there's a potential figure that could be spoiled in Origins at some point. Haven't gotten uh, a, a spoiler for it yet. Going down. We got a couple more, actually three more right here. We got Blast Attack. Haven't heard anything or seen anything about Blast Attack in Origins. We've got Sarad, another movie figure. Uh, another one that had, I don't believe has been shown. And none of the movie figures I don't think have been shown. And then we've got Snake Face. Uh, they just came, uh, showed us the, the wave of uh, Snake Men. And Snake Face was one, not one of the ones that was included in that wave at least, our first wave of Snake Men. So looking around, here's King Hiss, which was just recently spoiled, as well as some of the other Snake Men, uh, Tongue Lasher and uh, Cobra Khan. And we, our, one of our most recent uh, deluxe figures was uh, Snout Spout there. So, and uh, okay, uh, Mechanic just got spoiled with to be with the Road Ripper or Ground Ripper now, as it's going to be called. So nothing there. Um, and looking through here, we've gotten everything there. King Randor just came out in wave 10 so all right well let's look down here okay uh, we've gotten all that stuff okay here's one back here drag store drag store is a potential figure uh, we have not seen that one yet so there's one uh, here's the road ripper uh, we know we're getting that with Zodak uh, meteorbs I doubt it but they are they did technically exist in the original line uh, okay, the top guys, we got uh, Twistoid here and Rotar. They did do those in classics and made them like actual figures, but uh, we haven't heard anything about those in Origins yet. Uh, then we've got uh, Extendar right there. That's another one that we haven't seen or heard anything about as far as I know. Ah, and right here in the middle, Spikor. That's got to be one of the most common figures that I'm pretty sure that they haven't shown us anything on yet. So Spike or man, we've got to get, I'm sure we're going to get that one, right? Um, and then flanking uh, Spike or there is both of the rock men. So there's some potential one stone and rock on right there. So I wonder if we'll be getting, getting those and looking down here. Okay. Here's Gwildor. That's the third movie figure. Another one that we haven't seen or heard. We haven't heard about any of the movie figures once again. And then hiding out back there is Squeeze. One of the other, the, I think the last snake man right there. So, um, there's a potential one too. And going over here, um, the last figure, I think that we never seen spoiled yet. I don't think we did was Dragon Blaster Skeletor. We got Thunder Punch He-Man now. So, uh, and they did release a snout spout that shoots water. So, I mean, there's a potential one right there. Dragon Blaster Skeletor. Oh, and then Screech. Screech right there. So there's some of the figures that are a possibility still when it comes to recreating the vintage line. Then, aside from that, we got 
vehicles and play sets. Um, the, the Snake Mountain, of course, uh, we've gotten shown that we could back Eternia, but not Snake Mountain yet. And then here's the attack track. Um, didn't see anything about the attack track yet as well. Uh, here's another one, vehicle, Spider. Didn't see anything about that one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then going over here, uh, other vintage stuff. Uh, uh, the slime pit, didn't see anything about the slime pit yet. Or uh, the blaster hawk. Some of these vehicles I'm assuming we won't, we won't be getting. It's the figures mainly is where I'm hoping we get every single vintage figure. And then we got Point Dread and the Talon Fighter. And I'd say probably one of the other more most common figures that we haven't seen yet, spoiled, is uh, Moss Man. So that's a possibility. And I've yet to acquire every single uh, every single vehicle for vintage line. So the other ones that I didn't have was uh, the uh, Fright Fighter which was a later release, hard to get one. And I don't have a good um, uh, laser bolt, laser bolt. And then there was a lot of little mini accessory sets. Uh, one of them was back here, the jet sled back there, it's hiding. So did I leave anything out? What do you think, are, are all those figures gonna get made? I, I think hopefully all those vintage figures, and I didn't leave it, I didn't uh, include the European ones that weren't released in the United States, like Titus Megator, Laser, He-Man, and Skeletor. But who knows, right? And uh, working on my Eternia, but uh, we already know if 5,000 people back this Eternia set here, um, we'll get it in like a year. So, interesting stuff. This thing, I got a lot of work to do on it to get it set up. I want to, uh, I'm going to make a Eternia display over here. I'm going to clear this out and make it just a, a fluid part of my collection to where it all tra it all transitions from one shelf to the other. And we got a, a table right here with Eternia. And then if Origins Eternia comes out, man, I don't know. I might have to, uh, I'll probably have to expand my collection on this side too. I'll have to have an Eternia, or actually I might have to clean this area better and have an Eternia here and an Eternia over there. So we'll see. Do you guys think that the attorney is going to get backed? 5,000 backers needed for that are all willing to pay $550 plus shipping a piece. So that's over two, that's over what, that's like $3 million worth of gross sales that Mattel is expecting to collect before they commit to making the attorney a place that. What do you guys think about that? Well, this is just kind of a fun video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.